Good morning, everybody. Um, so how fun that I get to be here today and share a devotional with all of you, my friends. And, you know, I just got to start by saying how crazy, how crazy are the days that we're living right now? Um, not like anything I can ever remember. And so as we think about these crazy days, I think about how my days went from being a teacher and having my six kids in my reading group sitting around my table and telling Ari, try a strategy when you're stuck. What can you do? Johnny, get on technology. Your job's done. Quit messing around. Go get on technology and telling all the kids what to do. And now instead of that, I'm talking to Ari's mom saying, screenshot the computer so I can see why you can't log in. How crazy is that? Me with technology telling a parent how to log in. So these days are totally crazy, totally unprecedented, I think, for all of us. But we can always be encouraged in God's word. And so as I chose a psalm, it's Psalms 90, uh, verses 12 through the end of the chapter. And Moses is the author of this psalm. And he says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. All our days? Wait, 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 we're in the middle of the coronavirus. But listen, listen what he says next. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us. Afflicted, some of us might be feeling that right now. And for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. So as we look at these verses, um, I kind of wanted to zero in on verse 14. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love. And a habit that I've been able to do this past year that I have loved is taking walks at the Bob Mays Park, five to six days a week. And there's something about putting my headphones on, singing praise music when it's snowing and nobody's outside. I love it because I bellow out the words and nobody hears my bad singing. But I love it. It is so satisfying to me to just spend time with my God, to spend time praising him, worshiping him. And then when I have to turn around, I can take off my headphones and spend that time in confessing my sins, praying for others, praying for my family first. And so that time of being satisfied every day, my kids laugh because if, if they're talking to me on the phone, I'm like, okay, I'm at the trail, I gotta go now. And they just laugh because they know that time I don't wanna ever wanna give up. But so when we satisfy ourselves in who God is and in his love, then the next part comes in play, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Now, as a teacher, I love the word all, because if it's on my word wall, under the letter A is the different words, and, all, at, as my first graders learn to read and to write. And I love the word all, because once they learn all, they know fall, ball, wall, small, tall. They know everything if they get all. That's a good chunk to get in, in what they can read. And you know, not just for six-year-olds, for 66-year-olds and 106-year-olds, the word all is so important here. We want to rejoice and be glad all of our days. Even these days that are crazy, that are not like our normal days, we want to rejoice and be glad in them. And you know, thinking about this passage, I couldn't help but think about my little prop. You know how I love props. And this is my big yellow raincoat. And I remember it was a couple of years ago that I woke up and I was like, yuck, it's a rainy day. We've had three rainy days in a row. I'm tired of these rainy days. I don't want to go out. My hair's going to be a mess. It's going to be frizzy by the time I get into school. I'm going to be a little bit wet. I don't like rainy days. And I remember it was a couple years ago, I truly believe it was the Holy Spirit that started prompting my heart. And the Holy Spirit was saying to me, really? You're gonna make every rainy day a bad day? You're gonna make every rainy day a ug day? Really? Every rainy day? How many rainy days do you think you have in your life, Lisa? And I went, eh, kind of a lot, don't we? <laughs> and so I remember then the thought of, yes, me 
who loves all thrift stores. I love a bargain because I'm a treasure hunter. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find the cutest raincoat I've ever seen. And I will even pay full price for it. And every day it rains, every day that I know that it's going to rain, I am going to get excited because I get to wear my raincoat. So here it is. Yes, last Mother's Day. We were at Eddie Bowers, and my husband had to get something on the way to um, to see Matt and Hannah and Addie and the boys, and so we stopped at Eddie Bauer, and I had said to myself, I'll get whatever I like, because it's going to be that raincoat that I'm going to use the rest of my life. Maybe I'll be buried in my yellow raincoat. Well, so when I saw this raincoat, I was like, that's the raincoat. I loved it. Look at the cute little detailing of the brown and the white stripes on here. The pockets are absolutely adorable. It was, this was the raincoat. They didn't have my size, but I was not going to be, um, Detoured. So I ended up calling around Eddie Bowers and finding who had my size and have them ship it to me because I want to be glad and rejoice every day. And this verse says it perfectly. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. So you have a day before you right now all of my Columbus Road friends. This is a day. Yes, it's different. Yes, you may have all of your children at your feet kind of driving you crazy because it's not a typical day. Yes, um, things feel unsettled right now because you're not used to this. I'm not, none of us are used to this. But you know what? We can, when we satisfy ourselves in the morning with God and his steadfast love, we can rejoice and be glad all of our days. That is your word for today. Have a great one.